Now continuing with our lecture on musical time, we're getting into rhythmic notation now. This slide contains three symbols which we must learn to interpret. A black dot with a stem on it, a circle with a stem on it, and a big circle. Now we've been talking a great deal about pulse. A pulse can be notated by any division that we choose, but by far the most common division is the quarter note and so very often the quarter note is thought of as the pulse. It's not always, but we'll start with that. Notice the main features of the code. We have open or filled in ovals, which have stems or no stems. Now study this chart carefully because you have to be able to reproduce this chart. But it's not very hard because if you had seventh grade fractions, you know how to do it. A whole note is 1 over 1. So a half note is 1 over 2. A quarter note is 1 over 4. The fractions work just like normal fractions. This frame continues with the idea of duple divisions. For the class, you will have to answer questions like how many quarter notes are there in a half note? How many eighth notes are there in a whole note? Etc. Now the augmentation dot is sometimes a difficult principle for people to grasp, but it's not too hard if you just know your divisions and can go to the next faster value. Whenever there's a dot after a note, it adds one of that next faster value, which happens to be half. So if you take a look at this chart, you see a whole note with a dot is equal to a whole note plus half. Half of a whole note is a half note. Since there are two half notes in a whole note, plus that extra half note, it adds up to three half notes. Now apply this same principle to half notes, quarter notes, or eighth notes. A dotted half note is equal to three quarter notes. A dotted quarter note is equal to three eighth notes. A dotted eighth note is equal to three sixteenth notes. Now this next point is very important. I want to emphasize it. When figuring out the rhythm of a passage, reduce all the rhythmic values to the terms of the fastest note value. Very important. We must learn how to do this. Now, I've been teaching music for many, many years. And if I've achieved any success at getting kids to play in rhythm, it's this one principle. Very often, uh, when rhythm is taught, a, st a step is skipped. We'll get to that step in a minute. But being able to reduce a rhythm down to its atomic level, whatever the fastest note is, and make groups of all of those allows you to be in total control of every single division. If you have a metronome ticking, you can put every single note with that exact beat, and that allows you to figure out the rhythm. Once you've got the groups of fastest notes, then you can go on to higher levels. But learning how to do this is very, very crucial to efficient easy learning of rhythm. Let's look at the next slide. This frame provides us with a very simple and clear application of the idea of reducing values to the terms of the fastest note. In this rhythm we have three values, a quarter note, a half note, and a whole note. Clearly the quarter note is the fastest value, so you make groups. You go one, 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 one for the quarter notes, and then when it goes a half note you go one, two, one, two. The whole note is one, two, three, four. So the whole thing goes like this. One, 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 two, one, two, one, 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 two, three, four, one, one, two, one, two, one, 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 two, three, four. Now this is a metronome. It ticks. It ticks in a very steady, consistent rhythm, which makes it a good candidate for a pulse, right? If you can learn how to connect the fastest notes groups of the fastest notes of any rhythm with this thing, you're going to be in good shape. Now you can set this at any speed. You can go way slower, which is
which is always best because that gives you time to think about the next thing so you don't screw up. It's very important to do it slow and perfect, not fast and erratic. It, when you get better at it, you go faster and then faster and then faster and then faster. Now let's set this thing down to a reasonable tempo and look at the next slide. 